Businesses across the country experiencing worker shortages, forcing employers to come up with new ways to recruit and then retain those employees. Kaysen's Mally Jones finding that child care is now a tool being used by some employers. Mally. Craig, Wichita leaders tell me they are seeing more and more employers implementing child care incentives, whether that be companies building centers themselves or offering partnerships with child care providers. Wichita City Council member Becky Tuttle says she has seen more and more employers implementing child care strategies in the area. Employers are trying to provide options and opportunities to entice their employees to stay, but then also recruiting talent. Tuttle says affordable, reliable child care is a barrier for many families. So if an employer can be nimble and try and provide child care on site, it certainly would be a benefit to their employees, which means it will be a benefit to them. Partnering employers with child care providers in the area is something the Child Start Executive Director Tanya Bullock says they've been working on. Job seekers and workers can overcome that child care is a barrier if they get to know one another. USD 382 in Pratt has presented a bond election which would add a child care facility and expand pre-K. That's something that the district uh, wanted to add in as a retention and recruitment and it's a real need in our community. Creekstone Farms in Arkansas City is building a child care facility for its employees. They say it was workers number one need. Trying to find innovative ways is important for employers to be able to attract the workforce and providing benefits that they genuinely need we believe will help keep folks wanting to come to work every day at Creekstone. Also, she hopes it'll impact overall child care shortages in the area. It's going to free up spots for other people to be able to allow their kids to use it and hopefully get them into the workforce. Megan Stoley says they will be working with Cali County Community College to staff the child care learning center. Creekstone Farms will be opening its child care center in the fall. Election day for USD 382 is on May 9th, or you can vote sooner with advanced voting. You can find details on that at KSN.com. Here for you, Mally Jones, KSN News 3.